one thing's for sure, when you're uh, doing a back-to-back -back Canevo test, you're going to need a good breakfast. Now, Monty, you know we've got some important work to do today. We're going to go and test. We're going to test out the 2019 Canevo versus the 2020 Canevo. Now, which one do you think is going to win? Speak if you think it's the 19. 19? What about the 2020? 2020? You reckon the 2020 is better? Oh, you could be right. All loaded up and ready to go. Hit the trails at Smithfield. 2019 Canevo, that one there in the blue corner. And in the black corner, the 2020 Levo. Who is going to come out victorious? The Stig, we'll find out. <laughs> Stephen Thomas, aka The Stig, how do you feel about this uh, test today, mate? No uh, one's done it before. He had his first couple of girlfriends. He Oh, I got my film and you, we better keep it clean. It's a family <laughs> show. <laughs> well, here he is. Smithfield Mountain Bike Park to do the uh, comparison between the 2019 Canevo and the 2020 Canevo. A couple of caveats so. Um, just to let you know, I'm no expert rider. I'm a 56, nearly 57 and a couple of weeks old rider. What I'm looking to do with Steve-O here is just look at the sort of things that most of us out there that get sucked up in all of the marketing hype. Is it really that much better for a 2020? Now I'm planning on mulleting my bike and putting some 200mm islands on the front and a 29er and that's going to be going on the uh, 2019. Um, but, you know, after this ride it could be a completely different scenario. I might end up selling the 2019 and then uh, buying a 2020 and doing the same thing to that. Obviously, there's a lot of money to drop if you do that. So that's what this test is all about. It's really testing out, is it worth dumping all that money and, uh, and, and getting something that's all that much better? Well, today we're gonna find out. So I'm looking forward to giving you my honest opinion uh, on, on which way I'm gonna go. And maybe you guys are thinking exactly the same thing. Leave your comments below and uh, love to love to hear from you another thing that we should mention also is uh with um the fact that i'm 25 odd kilos heavier than steve-o so the guys are pumping pedals have sorted this bike out to suit my weight but uh i'm sure steve's going to uh, be able to tell us plenty of good things about these bikes what he likes and what he doesn't like so steve-o is actually a giant rider meaning that he's not a giant but he rides a giant normally Today he's on the 2020 Levo, uh, Canevo starting off and I'll warm up on my bike and then uh, we'll do the switch. So we're gonna get the uh, Strava times uh, happening and do the pipeline track. The police are aware of us doing this test, so it's all good. We didn't quite get the police escort that we requested, but uh, the next best thing. <laughs> Morning. Howdy. And I've just done a swap over here just to sort of test them on everything. Here we go. It's a bit more rattly. The motor certainly feels a little stronger. Yeah, it's certainly a lot more nimble, a lot more playful. The 19 feels more like a like a dirt bike. All right, just on the flats, uh, definitely with a 2.8 tyre front end. Um, just feels a bit slower in the steering, not as lively as the 2020 with the 2.6 front end. Um, both felt pretty good in the tight stuff. They're both big bikes, so you're not going to expect them to be that nimble, I suppose, carrying quite a bit of weight, but um, still lots of fun. Yeah, you can definitely feel uh, that the 2020 is lighter, more nimble, more playful straight away yeah. um, the 2019 feels more like a truck it's more heavy duty it's more planted in, in, in a way but in saying that I think the positive uh, well the steering's more positive on the 2020 uh, just on the flat stuff straight away all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the uh, climb up pipeline and we'll swap over halfway and uh, just compare them uh, back to back on the climb let's get into it 
All right, so Steve's riding my 2019. He's a good rider, he's much better than me. I'm just finding this thing just wants to take off like a motorbike compared to the to the 19 uh, on turbo going up this switchback climb. It's just fun, even more fun than, than mine. So the new motor definitely uh, thumbs up for that one. And whilst the lock to lock of the 2020 Kinevo uh, due to the uh, dual crown forks is noticeable compared to the single crown forks. Uh, it's not an issue on these tight switchbacks, not a bit. So um, that's not a problem. Just when you get hooked up on the track, stopped, and you need to maneuver around, you notice it then, but you just pick up the bike and deal with it. I can live with it, it's not a problem. All right, let's swap over, Steve. Oh, on the flat now. <laughs> oh, you still got a little bit more to go. You got them? Yep. Okay. I like it more. Oh. Mate, you're leaving me for dead. Much more lively uh, front end on this bike. You can feel acceleration out of the corners. It rolls better. 2020 is more lively. Um, a bit hard, I mean, you've got that suspension set for you, it's a bit like a jackhammer under my ass, so I was struggling a bit. Um, 2020 is much more livelier. I think that climbs better, without a doubt. That's got more power. I can really notice the uh, upgraded motor. I think they're talking about 15% extra power it has coming up the hills. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head down the hill. And uh, steve is going to be on the 2020. I'm on the 2019. And then we'll do another lap and we'll swap bikes. Let's do it. Track conditions couldn't be better. Oh, man. So good.
I'll be honest with you. Not a good, not a good way to compare bikes. You're going to be doing the comparison. It's impossible to ride because it. Because of the, oh, it's the just the fucked. Suspension. That's the worst, slowest trip I've ever done down pipeline. Scariest trip too. It just tracks beautifully on these climbs. I'm loving the light, nimble front end compared to the 19, without a doubt. And at the same time, it still feels very planted. Having a couple of motor issues though, it's cut out on me a couple of times. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it just doesn't like fat bastards for, the, for going up a 380 meter climb. Uh, one after, one run after the other. It's a bit hot or something, I don't know. But anyway, something to uh, inquire about when we get back to the shop. This one's hardly used any battery power too, you know. Yeah, that's got 750 watt, hasn't it? What's that? It must have been pedaling more. Yeah. Well, I had Doing to because there was a couple of old guys behind us on uh, normal bikes that were uh, putting us to shame. <laughs> Sound like someone just got hurt. <laughs> Was that you yelling? Oh, fuck. What happened? Yeah. Straight into a sneer trip. Oh no! <laughs> oh man. It's in the cut. Oh no. Fuck, this is bad. Oh. Ouch. It'll start aching in about 20 minutes. Yeah. You, you better get to a hospital, man. You might ask, what is a stinging tree? Listen to that guy. He is in such pain. Apparently, it's like sticking your hand in a in a coals of a hot fire. Check out how much faster an electric mountain bike is past someone that's just pedaling acoustically. Okay, I've never been able to ride that without dabbing a foot on my 19. Well, that was a good comparison. I think we got what we came for. And the conclusion is that the 2020 Canevo out of the box is an absolute beast compared to the 2019. And that's not to say the 2019 is not a great bike. It is. It's a really great bike. But they've just pushed the limits and they've done a great job on the 2020 Canevo. Just love the way that the front end is so playful. You can just lift it up over rocks just so easily. It's effortless compared to the 2019, which has a much heavier front end. Um, so I'm in love. I'm in love. That's a good thing. Let's go spend some money.